They call it Pro Day as these college football players run after a pro career. NFL coaches and scouts touched down at the University of Georgia this morning to check out tomorrow's stars. Atlanta Falcons coach Mike Smith says he values the chance to get to know the players up close. Obviously, we spend the, most, the majority of our time watching tape and, and evaluating them. Uh, th this gives us an opportunity to, you know, to learn more about uh, how they grew up and what, the, you know, what they've done and what their makeup is. Tight end Orson Charles got most of the spotlight. The former All-SEC First Teamer has drawn comparisons to current pros Vernon Davis and Jermichael Finley. But it's simply being scouted and the hope of being drafted that Charles is grateful for. You know, since I first started playing football when I was 12, um, then watching a lot of NFL games, and, and I was like, you know, you know what, God, I would love to, you know, you know, play in the NFL. And then going to the combine, even though it was like a little stressful, it was just a dream come true. Um, and then this whole process is definitely a dream come true. So, you know, I thank God, thank all the coaches that got me to this point, and just thank Georgia. But being a late entry into the draft delayed his training. That meant he couldn't run the all-important 40-yard dash at the NFL Combine. So when the time did come to run it this morning's pro day, he called his 4.75 time discouraging. Running against the wind was kind of discouraging. You know, heard a couple of my times, I felt like I could do a little better. Uh, if, I was, if I had to take anything back, I would definitely want to run that, that 40 again to, to prove that I am like a 4.5, 4.6 guy. Charles will have a chance to impress coaches and scouts again, as several workouts have been scheduled leading up to the draft. He has already talked to over 20 NFL teams interested in his services, so look for his name to be called on draft night. From the Georgia Dome, I'm Greg Hurd.